You know how much this thing was? No. How much? I guess. Was it like four? They don't have it in store, so I'm not gonna buy it. Bro. Bro. Nah. Yeah. Let's return and get that cash. Okay. So, there should be these two t things right here. All you have to do, it's very hard to see. It's like these little prongs on the inside. All you gotta do is push it. Just one on this side, one on the other side, and then this one at the bottom. All you gotta do is just push it in. It's very hard to see. I'll say that much. Yep. You heard that little click? That's one. It's very hard to see on the other side. So I'll pop out those clips and I'll show you the next step. What'd you say? None. Is that for you Yeah. Next thing to do is to pop these out with a flathead and then you just pull this out. Can't do it with one hand though, so I'll probably do it. Wait. Ah, I got it. Oh god. All right. This popped up. It should look like this. All you gotta do is pull this out. It's hard to do it with one hand. Yeah, I don't want to drop the air back. Because I'm going to be retaining this. Also, this stays here. After that got to take off this bolt or nut it should be a 17 millimeter and obviously make sure your steering wheel is straight because you don't want a crooked steering wheel got a bolt here I got my 17 millimeter Yeah, a stender socket. Dang it. Ah! Got him. All right. And I'm just gonna screw it back on it just a little bit because I don't want this to fly on my face. And then just. Oh, that's tough. I want to bust my face. Oh, that's tough. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this thing is tough. Yeah. Like to remove? Oh. Wait, did you completely Hey yo, you wanna pass me that tape real quick? Yeah, I, do. I really don't wanna mess up this clock spring. Got you, thank sir. you, thank you. So I can't completely remove it yet because there was this little connector. This thing was at the very bottom of that. And I believe I gotta remove all these screws because since this is automatic, it's connected to these paddle shifters. If it was a manual, all you need was just these two connections and this one. All this other stuff is not necessary to remove, but I think for the automatic, you would definitely have to remove all this. Alright, I'm going to start removing all this and let's get started with that. Okay, 
completely remove all the screws and everything. Now I just have to remove the cruise control, powder shifters, and anything that's on here and put it onto the new wheel. So, this so should be able to pull up as soon as you take off all the screws. Oh, stupid wire in the way. how to get these paddle shifters out. Oh. That's these little clips. Honey! Then there's screws here that's attached to it, and then just transfer these over. One thing I forgot to mention is this little connector, you will have to take this off. But this only applies if to an automatic. And I taped out my clock spring because I know if you mess up this clock spring, you will have to pay 600 bucks for a new one. And that is something I do not want to pay. And I'm praying to God because I did move it a couple of times. The ABS lights and the air backlight does not go on. <gasps> I almost dropped that. Okay, as, as soon as you remove the screws, all you gotta do is pull it up. Might have to play a little bit because this side is touching. So I'm gonna hold it down with my pinky because I don't have enough hand for this. And that's it. Be sure not to lose your screws, because I don't want to. And it's going to be placed right there. And that one. That's it for the steering wheel. I'm just going to put it in the back. And I just put another one. Got this. So I'm going to put this on. halfway there now I'll just assemble everything and then we should be good to go so my mistake was to put that blue wire over here like this little blue area was on this side and I clipped it in it's supposed to be the other way around. It's supposed to look like this. Make sure you don't do it. Like how I did it earlier. Alright, quick little update. Got the cruise control on. Paddle shifters are in. The only issue is, it's just like, there's this little clip thing. That's where the, the wire kind of holds it in place. Like, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. But it's kind of making contact with the cruise control itself. But... I guess that's how it's designed because I don't think because this is supposed to be a manual I don't think these paddle shifters were supposed to be there so I guess this is how the wires were designed maybe I would just go back to my old video to see um, what it looked like but essentially halfway there just gotta put this in and believe that's it besides the airbag and should be good to go. I'm just praying to God this works and there's no lights. Okay, everything is on. This is basically the look of how it is. I wish I could tuck this wire back there, but I can't. I mean, if I run into complications, then yeah, I'll probably figure out how to tuck it back there. But right now, I'm just gonna put, on, put it on. 
Let's see how it goes. Hopefully good. Yours has hints of red on it too. Yeah. But, um, Nice so, though. That's uh, actual Harbor Fiber, right? Yeah. Harbor Fiber. Oh, so you slapped that on? I thought it came with uh, like an aftermarket part. I'm so stupid! What the heck? I forgot the nut. Oh, shit. Ah! It's right here. It was. It's right there. It was right there, and I forgot it. You messed up again? Yeah, I it. Oh my god, you're not. Uh, like I think it's about to rain. Why my wipers on? I just got moved, it's scary. Hey, that's a bed. That's a fat bed. Finally, got some sunlight. Dude, that looks crazy. Like, this is what I've been waiting for. And, dude, that looks so sick. Damn, I'm in love.